notably is the construction of the uh, pediatric center in the government hospital in Tutukaran. Uh, we have also carried out a program that uh, called as the Save a Child Heart program where as many as 94 children have benefited in terms of free heart surgery and treatment in the best of hospitals in the state. They adopt a holistic approach from offering an array of health services to running need-based health camps to supporting government health initiatives and partnering with their efforts to raise awareness on key issues. The employees too play an active role by participating voluntarily in various camps. We have, uh, at the, as of now, targeted about 120 farmers where we are uh, giving them a lot of assistance in uh, bringing in modern day technology into their agriculture. We supply free seeds and uh, even organic manure to these uh, farmers. Uh, we help people set up uh, small kitchen gardens in their houses. All this to supplement their income as also to take care of themselves. As a regional specific social initiative, Coastal Livelihood Project was launched to promote technical skills among coastal youth in Tutukorin, which enables them to get employment in different fields with the support of NGOs. Sterlight has identified various areas of skills development which need to be offered to the fishing community members such as computer training, nursing assistant, cell phone mechanic, embroidery, tailoring, etc. These trainings have given confidence to the young men and women of coastal areas and helped them to find a job in Tutukorin. During the current year, they have achieved an employability rate of 68% with an average earning of 3,000 to 4,000 rupees per month. Sterlite Women Empowerment Project, also called SWEP, envisages social and economic empowerment of women. The aim of the project is to generate supplementary income for women self-help groups and to provide training to upgrade the skills of women by creating opportunities for viable economic activities. One thousand and seventy-four self-help groups have been formed covering 15,000 rural women from marginalized sections of society. More than 151 groups have taken up profitable income generation activities. Focus has been given to microfinance as a strategy to reach more women and involve them in the development process which has helped to alleviate poverty and maximize economic output. In a nutshell, here is Starlight who is a responsible corporate citizen who not only takes care of investors' needs alone but includes the locality, community, environment and society under their stakeholder umbrella and marching successfully towards a strong nation-building exercise. <laughs>